Hello everyone, I'm the Ultimate Waterman Overlord, and welcome back to Princess Evangel. Yes, the fucking greatest game ever. Yes, welcome back to Princess Evangel. Thank you for joining me. And yeah, let's just get right back into the main storyline of Princess Evangel. I'd passed the premier judgement, but that didn't necessarily mean I'd f fully integrated into the student body. I didn't know the boy would be here. I could hear the whispers among the swimsuit clad assembly. Where are they, Messiah? I- where- I- where- where are the girls? Do you see any girls? I don't see any girls. I'm disappointed. Well, it stands to reason, I guess. It was it was one thing to have class together, but it was natural that such sheltered girls would feel self-conscious about showing their skin before a man. It was actually charming in a way. Yes, I guess. Why am I going so posh again? It's still a magnificent sight of view. There was something almost unreal about seeing all the all these all those girls. Their faces serious, doing organised organised stretches together. My life, my lifeguard duties went off without a hitch, and we were approaching our noon break. Maybe it's curry. Oh, fucking hell! In fucking Nekapara, volume uh, Nekapara volume zero episode four, three, the latest episode, which come out today after this. I recorded that first. That had curry in it as well. I'm also getting curry tonight, which I said in that video. And this has game. We're getting curry, apparently. That's cool. Amazing. What coincidence. I saw a cyl cylindrical pot being brought in. I'd seen a few of the girls clustered, clustered together and leave before. I thought they might have been ill, but it seemed they were just w preparing the food. Are we getting food, or do we have to just starve up here, you know? It looks like a bread line or something. I was heading towards the pot when I saw the un... I said unusual then. The, I saw the usual gang gathering together, so I moved to join them. <laughs> oh my god, it is fucking curry. Fucking hell. Great, we're getting fucking curry in this game. Oh, I just fucked up. So it is curry. Sounds great. It had been a long time since I'd eaten curry rice. Plenty of pork and miso soup at the soup kitchens, but... Yeah, let's go line up, girl. The girls formed an orderly line, and we hooked up at the end of it. End of it. <laughs> Hello, Ayaka. Isn't it just you're lazy? You're not. You're not actually tired, are you? Just fucking lazy. That's your personality, and a joker. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> why why is she self conscious about that? Well, I think she uh, caught wind that Messiah was going and she was like, Oh yes, Messiah's going? I can uh, swim in a swimsuit with him near me. Oh yes. <laughs> What's the reason, girl? You ain't got a good reason, do you? <laughs> oh! Ayaka knows. She knows, doesn't she? <laughs> Ayaka! Ayaka, you and me are perfect. We have the same fucking mind thoughts. We have the same thoughts. She's gonna fucking go all red now. <laughs> there we go. Of course not. I don't want him. I don't want him to see me in my swimsuit. I'd rather look at Ruriko, but she's not here. Where's Ruriko? You ain't got anything, girl. What am I supposed to look at? Can <laughs> Chan leap forward? Arms spread to block my view of Ritsuko Chan. I can just look at Ayaka. Her rigid post posture just ended up protruding her chest towards me, though. <laughs> her chest. <laughs> Dude, you don't have to say it so bluntly. What are you looking at? Her chest. <laughs> Fucking hell, Messiah. Yeah, that, that is fucking honest right there. Sister Mishima said it was good for boys to be honest, so I thought I'd try it out. 
I'm just looking at your boobs, girl. <laughs> That's some bullshit. You've only known one boy. You could go fuck off with that shit. <laughs> That's some bull fucking shit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, really grown from what? An A cup to an A cup? <laughs> Seventy-seven, seventy-seven centimeters in what? How how do you measure boobs? <laughs> That's the real question here. So she's seventy-seven centimeters, huh? How is that like? Where where from? Are we talking width? What? How? Okay. Oh, hello, Chio. Um, you're in the way. I'm looking at Ritsuko. I wonder. Oh, she said it again. You fucking bucker love me, don't you? I was trying to be discreet, but it just got me kicked again. Great. Oh, what? Are you talking about Konomi? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Well, Konomi, um, Ritsuko's just hotter than you, so sorry. And, you know, I could just look over. Girl! Okay, keep talking. There she goes, she's finished. I could just look over here, you know. Like, this is a big area. Like, these are like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there she is. Oh, hello, Ruiko. Hello. Oh, God, they're too large. Hello, babe. <laughs> Everyone's like, Ayaka's, well, not everyone, Ayaka's like, what more fuck is happening here? <laughs> yes, get back to this question. I want to know the answer. What's your answer going to be? It's going to be a lie. That is the worst point I have ever heard. That is, that's, <laughs> yeah, right, fuck off. That is so, oh, come on, you can't say that, that's terrible. That, that is the most bullshit excuse I've ever seen in my life right there. Well, you didn't have to be the leader. Mitsuki could have been the leader. We haven't seen Mitsuki or Mariko in fucking ages. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume it has. Yeah, probably. I hope so. Yeah, it, it's it's fine now. Oh, um, I don't have a scar on my back. No, it's it's nothing like that. <laughs> How are you believing that lie? I mean, come on, come on. There's no way. How is he a hopeless? It's the worst lie I've ever seen. Huh? What, what, why is that? He's forgotten his own lie. Yeah, he he is physically skilled, so he'd be good at swimming probably. So he kind of bullshitted you, girl. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm anything special. You go to an all-girls school, mate. You're not special. What what are you thinking about, girl? Don't think. 
ありますからね運動が全般に苦手な私も泳ぐのは割と得意なんです You excel at swimming? Well, I mean You got these to keep you afloat Oh, I see Exactly, you got two large flotation devices right there. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, they are so fucking large. I mean, fucking hell. Really? I never knew. He just looks in like, I need to inspect more. The question was out of my mouth before I could reconsider. Yeah, I'm good at being a pervert. I'm not good at pretty much everything else. Well, good, because he is feeling well. Yeah, thanks. We had a long break after lunch, so the girls went back to the lodge to rest. We just sit there like, where's all my girls gone? Afterwards, they changed back into their swimsuits and returned to the lake and swam until the summer sun cast long shadows over the water. Oh, that's fine, Mrs. Mishima. It's only a fucking 30 minute walk. I mean, come on, 30 minute walk? That's fucking easy. We could jog that. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Sister Mishima. Oh, come on, Sister Mishima. You know I'm a special student. I'm a fucking man. <laughs> Unlike all the girls, I've got the fucking power. I understand. Come on, Sister Mishima. Let's go then, babe. Ah, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Oh, I just read The Guardian. I thought you were going to get a Guardian to accompany me down and then i uh, just walk back. But you're getting someone to walk down with me and then The Guardian will walk them back out. That means The Guardian has to walk all the way back down. <gasps> fuck me, you're just ruining people's lives here, Sister Mishima. <laughs> ah, I, I see. Bye bye, babe. See you later. Yes, ma'am. I realized what Sister Mishima was getting at. She was asking, asking me to pick someone to invite. I thought she wanted. Okay. Thanks, Sister Mishima. Why did I say that so, like, negatively? I'm sorry. I bowed to her as she walked away. Uh, so, so. Yes, babe? Yes? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I thought we were going to walk down together anyway. Ah, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> Messiah, what are you doing? She's like... <laughs> she's a fucking babe. Well, Sister Mishima, I didn't know you were so horny. Yes. I'll pass, if you please. <laughs> but so I was like, I don't want any of that out, old pussy. I'm going for the younger girls, if you know what I mean. Oh, Sister Mishima, I wish. I wish. But there's no option. I'm sorry. These lines, though, are fucking amazing. That's not even funny. <laughs> that is funny. What are you saying, Messiah? I would fuck you any day. Wait, what? That came out a bit too bravely, boldly. Bye, Sister Mishima. I pulled out my cell phone. Are we going to get a choice? Who to call? Who did I want to accompany me? Well, it's going to be Risei. Because we cho we've gone the Risei path, and I don't want to fuck the game up, because we'll get a bad ending. It's a 30 minute walk. Wait, oh wait, wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you mean school or this walk? It's a 30 minute walk. Yeah. It's only a 30 minute walk. I'd love to be there at night, <laughs> if you know what I mean. We could be in one of the fucking dorms with the girls all night. Wait, what? It, is it? It's like, are they having lesbian orgies? Girl, I, I, please, no. Uh, ha, ha, have I? Risa san looked at me curiously. I quickly averted my eyes. Um, 
No? Wh which accident are you talking about? As she spoke, she put her hand to my forehead. <sighs> then blushing, she quickly removed it. <laughs> what, you're not medically trained? What are you on, girl? Come on. Well, basically, I'm your Chien, bitch. Um, j just a little nervous. Okay. I decided to answer honestly. We don't get to be alone together very often. <laughs> what a fucking line, Messiah. What a line. He's like, yeah, yes, we're both alone. You know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> whips out dick, whips out, puts on condom. Let's go. <laughs> She's like, is he gonna ravage me? No. <laughs> is that surprising? え、<laughs> Oh, I can, ne I can never take any offence from you. I mean, come on. Oh, no, I understand. I know I know that I can be, so... I wonder what exactly Risei-san was trying to get at, get at, though. Our conversation trailed off, and only our footsteps broke the silence. It was so hot that day, I had been tempted to jump out of the, bo the, boot, the boat and into the water, but with the sun down, it had become quite cool. What are we talking about? <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's my exact answer, Messiah. Well, it was it your fault? Whose fault was it? Who the fuck came? Wait, was it Ruroko's fault? I can't be mad at Ruroko, but whoever, whoever, whoever brought the fucking candle idea up, is a fucking arsehole. And if it was Ruroko, I mean, no offense to her. Oh, I guess that's true. There was a lot of blood. Yeah, Rusa San nodded. Oh, did you get a jealous girl? Geo? What, what about her? I remembered her I remembered her pushing her way towards me, but my conscious consciousness of my surroundings were pretty hazy at that point. All I remembered was Chio's tear stained face. Otherwise my attention wasn't wasn't on the outside world, but on my own inside world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're jealous, aren't you, babe? I'm sorry. After a moment's hesitation, Risa San shook her head. Or shook her head. Well, Rise, whoever gave me the fucking candle deserves to die. Well, no, but yeah, I'm scared of fire. <laughs> no, girl, you're going crazy. No, I'm just, I'm just bad around fire. Wow, he's just gonna come around and say it, isn't he? It's it's the same as we as when we played the uh, we played life. The fire made me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. English. I really didn't want to carry that candle, so I was wa I was walking with it held straight out from my body. It was an awkward posture, and I lost my balance. <gasps> Did you really have to take the candle though? Couldn't you've just said, "Fuck no, I ain't taking the candle. Fuck that shit." See, because I wanted to keep it as far away as possible. <laughs> Oh shit, is she gonna realize like Oh, are you cheering? Hm. It seemed like the exaggerated level of my fear was rooted in the fact that I didn't know the source of it. Now that I knew, it probably wouldn't be so bad. That's great, mate, that's great. What this talk? Risa San held up the flashlight the teacher gave us. Oh, a flashlight? Yeah, that's probably good, because if she gave us a fucking candle, we'd fucking kill ourselves. It wouldn't be very good. Why? Be careful on the way home. I know I know you have a guardian with you, but still. See ya, babe. Nah, that bitch... Oh, sorry, babe. That bitch can rot in hell. She knows what she's doing. Oh, I bet you do. I bet you have lots of fun, if you know what I mean. You get the titties out, you get the badges out, and you have some lesbian fun. I know you do. You said that before, but what happens at night? <laughs> He's like, 
Hmm, I need the details. What happens at night? Yeah, you see, I can't actually participate in that because you know what happened. It will be a, um, well. Ah! Oh, don't worry, Risa. We'll definitely sleep together, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that sounds cool. We don't get to do it. Fuck you, headmistress. I, I just imagine all the girls just fucking having a pillow fight. Just fucking killing each other with pillows. I think I can imagine. Even if I had spent that night, uh, spent the night, I probably wouldn't be allowed to participate. Yeah, exactly. Good question. Yeah, it wasn't on a, it wasn't on a school trip though. I went on a tuna fishing boat for a part-time job. We were down by the by the equator, the equator, and the old fisherman and I looked up at the starry sky and talked. By the time we made it down the mountain road and arrived back on the campus, the sky was already dark. It was already dark. Well, you we don't get the story. Fuck you, game. Well, thanks. It's just like, yeah, thanks. No hug. <laughs> Bye, babe. Oh, yeah, of course. Where's my hug? Can we hug? Can we at least have a hug? Yeah. Where's the fucking hug? Later. <laughs> Later. Bye-bye. And that is the end of chapter 15. I need to save 17 for some reason. And we will be going on to chapter 16, Evening Star Gathering. But, oh yes, uh, Thursday 11th, Summer Training Camp, still today, August, yes, cool. Okay, but yes, uh, this is where I'm ending this episode. But yes, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Princess of Agile, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Princess of Agile, or in just another video in general. But yes, uh, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, if you really want to. And yes, once again, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.